I know one particular mom just like Mama D. Mm-hmm. But I ain't saying no names. I want a happy house. How y'all lovely ladies doing? Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Hey, man, tonight we're going to sit down and have a little dinner, both our parents, so we can ease some things out, work some things out, put everything on the table, and nip all this crazy in the butt. I think we should pray before we do this, you feel me? Oh, absolutely. Father, right now, Jesus, man, we thank you. We come to you. We appreciate you bringing us all here together. We thank you for letting us see this day, and we thank you for the love and respect that we're gonna do right now, Jesus. Man. See, uh-uh, Mama D knew something was coming. She said son name, right? Sha la 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 la. Mm. Hey, Amen. What? Sha la 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 la. I'll take care. I'm gonna fix the plate. Please. And we can get things started. Yes. Know? So they come. And I'm just like, Lord, give me strength. Like, please let this just go in the right direction. I'm trying to marry this guy. Erica been pretty, honey. She's a pretty little thing. You know what I'm saying, coming. What do you think is negative? Coming from me. It's the, I don't believe theory. You know but that's my opinion. That don't mean that it's negative, because it's my opinion. Right that's my opinion. I'm like this, if you love Erica the way you say you do, and Erica loves you the way she says she do, then it, get married. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. But they have to be doesn't believe because of what I've seen from you. And what have you seen? I've seen the breakups. I've seen the other women. I've seen the cheating. She never told you the positive stuff. Recently? 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 Hey, just come recently? talk. Just come uh, talk recently? with us. I'm coming. Come talk with us. I know I messed up in the past, but you know, I don't really like how Erica Mama, Mignon, is really like, Pissing on my piss not eat. My you pants. see, Scrappy, you needed Mignon there. You needed her. It was God's time, and you prayed, right? You prayed. So this prayer paved the way for your wife now. You needed her mama to be telling her the truth. I'm still that bitch. Ooh. And I'm a bigger bitch. And, 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 and will remain. Bitch. Oh, but and let me say this. Come on, Erica. She don't know her place. And that's what an error is right now. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. And, 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 what? And since you're trying to go in on me, yeah, we'll be here. Because I would be respectful. I would be respectful to her. I would be respectful to her. No, you're trying to go towards her. Has my mama called you a she called you anything Wait, not your no. no. See, now I remember when Erica first started and she was quiet. By the time it got to this scene, honey, she said, I've been holding enough and I'm going to say everything and all things. Right now, right here, this is my moment. I've been waiting all my life. My mom. I don't even want you to go off on her because it, you won't even, never mom. what happened. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. don't call my, my wife you no know, bitch. You okay. feel me? And that's just real. Understood. No, that's just real. Got you. Now back to the whole situation that happened. Honey, Erica did not come to play that day. All those motherfuckers want to be disrespectful. First of all, we can I'm, be I'm not a mother and I will never be your mother So no, you no. just call him a bitch five or 10 minutes ago. No, no I said, yes, my mama. You said, so yeah. if you be quiet and listen, you will. Erica came with the fire. Shut your goddamn mouth. If I was Dracula, I would sink my fangs in your carotid artery and drain you for all of it, bitch. <laughs> How could you be so pretty saying the words of venom like that? I won't be this lady. You pop out, but you won't jump out. I'm so sick of Who won't jump out? See, you could tell that there's some ish that went down right before those cameras came up. Because normally, Erica is mild-mannered. You know, she's very respectful. And she's a class act. But from the minute she sat down, you could tell with that prayer, shut I. That was long, hard, and tight. While Mama D like this. Erica wanted prayer and strength in that moment. Baby, Mama D ain't know what was coming. Because Erica had a bomb to drop. Are there mamas like Mama D in New York? You ever heard that saying, birds of a feather flock together? VH1, cue up Arizona. Cue, cue that season up. Thinking about maybe taking another hyenas with the drink. A what? The hyenas. You know what I'm saying? Birds of a feather flock together. I know one particular mom just like Mama D. Mm-hmm.
but I ain't saying no names. I want a happy house. You know, Mama D is Mama Judy. Mama Judy is her. They are one and the same. All of it. They are one. So let's do some comparisons, right? They love their sons immensely. They've always questioned, you know, the women's, the wives, the girlfriends, integrity or morals or, you know, outfit. They show up even when they're not invited. They can hang with the best of us, even have a little drink or two. And that always turns out to be not a good thing. I'll leave it at that. I ain't trying to have no beef with Mama D. I'm in Atlanta now. None. What's going on with you? I saw the pictures. Oh, I remember this scene. I'm mad because you didn't tell me. Tell you they what? Were. Honey, she's sipping on that tea. These are my girls. And as much as I want to keep this deal a secret, the whole world is about to know. And I want to be the one to tell them first. We actually had a major billion dollar company contact us. So we actually flew to LA and met with them in person. Oh my God. Yeah. Why? Because they had a copy of the tape. You sign papers and it's going to be released. It's done. Oh my God. Your daughter has to see this, Mimi. What about Eva? I can either let this tape run around for free or I can be a businesswoman about this and capitalize off of it and send my mother. I don't remember how the tape got to them. Was it a joint leak moment or did he do it? I gotta, I gotta recollect. I don't remember. I think she may have just made a deal with the devil. You know you're a porn star now. It's always your friend. It'd be your own ones. Call her a porn star. It'd be your friends. Okay, so the person that stole. I don't know who stole it. Then oh, I'm that's what it was. Someone stole the tape. You really trust him, huh? I did. Trust you did. Yeah, my trust is a little weary right now. I mean, now. I would expect it to be after a situation yeah, like if this. If it weren't, you'd be crazy. Telling my girls is something that I had to do, but the worst thing is this getting back to Stevie. So I need them to keep their mouths shut. Please don't say anything. Getting back to Stevie? It's about to be all over the world. And on Love & Hip Hop. Oh, he gonna know. As far as Eva's concerned. Oh, he gonna know. He's gonna try to take her. He can't take because he got his own that he's got going on. And if he thinks that his situation is better than mine, when he lived with a known prostitute. Sheesh. So if this went down in New York, I think they just have to hear about it on the blog. We don't be telling on ourselves like that. We will hold something to the core of us. If nobody finds out, great. If the world finds out, they all gonna find out together because we ain't telling a soul. Kind of like when I didn't tell anybody I didn't sign my certificate at the time. Yeah, we ain't tell nobody. You haven't seen any of mine leak, right? Because he loves his life. And he cherishes his relationship with his kids, his relationship with his mom. You know, he wants to continue to live as a free, able to walk, able to talk human being because there would be limits to what he's able to do in life if he was still alive after my tape leaked. So that's the difference between New York and Atlanta for me. I definitely enjoyed getting the grand opening out the way because it was a lot. Oh, I hate with every passion of my soul this whole entire situation. Oh my gosh, I hated it. So me and Jasmine, we're in Houston. You know, I'm praying that this gonna go smoothly. I'm praying Rashida ain't been drinking. I'm praying her attack dogs ain't at the party. Jasmine just wants to say sorry on behalf of Kurt's dingling and her coochie. Oh my gosh. Bitch, look. I know that ain't who I think it is. Ugh. Here? Don't play with me. I'ma find you after, okay? At a party I ain't know about. Why are you here? Um, I kind of felt the need to talk to Rashida. Real quick, if we could chop it up. For no, it's nothing to talk about. You should have talked to me before you slept with my man. Not 
to say Kirk was off the hook either, but it's nothing to talk about now. The point, what do you want? Why are you here? Right, why are you here? Yourself to do what you were supposed to do as a father to our son. Ugh, don't say our anything. You can go sit down. Not our after over a decade of marriage. No our. <sighs> no, don't say our. Don't use the word our. Just don't use the word our in front of me. Lady, because I'm going to kill that bitch. Right, Erica. Since she just keeps popping up, I guess I might as well deal with this once and for all. But she better remember, we in a room full of my peoples that will ride for me if necessary. Ooh, I feel like my blood boiling right now. Like, I'm just getting angry watching this. And hot. The chance to finally get to apologize to you formally. I've tried Nobody want no apology. You know, reach out to you. Apologies don't fix nothing. That you want to talk to on the earth right now, honestly. Obviously. I didn't want it to go down like this. Yes, you did. Saying I wasn't thinking about what I was destroying. I'm not that type of person. Really? <laughs> I really, I'm really not. some real You did that shit. Like that is the type of person you are. And I'm gonna keep that 100 with you. That was some real bull For real. You know how you with my family. And at the end of the day, there's really nothing you can say to Nothing. To make anything any different. One thing about me, though, is I'm a real ass woman. And your child has nothing to do with the situation at hand, mm -hmm. but the way you maneuvered was on some that I can't with. And that's why I won't talk to you. Mm. That's why I hadn't talked to you. Mm. I'd be the first to say, like, I wish I would've never did that. That's not who I am. I up. Well, you don't have to try to tell me what you aren't because all I see is what you've shown me. And what you are, because you did it. You came to apologize, is that what you had to say? Shh, shut up so I can hear. I guess actions speak louder than words. All I could do is act on my words. I mean, and that's doing what though? Like, I'm, I'm confused. I mean, this is a far ass place. We not in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So actions speak louder than words than what? Because when I talk to my mom and I talk to my stepdaughter, cause you coming in my place of business. On some real- Violated. Nobody, the, what? The reason why I did that in the first place is because I wanted to be able to speak to you. So then I'm, I'm confused on what it is you're, you're, you're wanting. You want to apologize and then what? Because anything else after that has nothing to do with me. You need to be having whatever conversation you need to have with that man. Because at the end of the day, on some real you a f***ed up individual for doing what you did. I'm not even talking about this whole f***ing around mm -hmm. But what I can't get past is all the other sh You know, all these games with these blogs and this bull that you was doing. You posted my child on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like that type of right there, that sh is a no-go. Mm -hmm. Yo, a no-no. Like, I can't respect that on any kind of level. And I'm trying to have my moment. Today is an amazing day for me. I've been through a lot, of and I want to continue to enjoy my night. See you later. Whew, that was heavy. You know, we always want to say, blame your man, check your man. She didn't have to have any loyalty to you or owes you anything. But woman to woman, you know exactly what you were doing. This is a public relationship at this point. This wasn't a situation where he could lie to you and say, we not together. You could have found Rashida if you want to talk to her. So all of us in New York, because I was in New York at the time, we would have been standing there like, you're dead ass wrong. You're wrong. We wouldn't have been looking. We wouldn't have been exactly what Erica was doing. It would have been mimicked five times more because you're wrong in this case. Yes, Kirk was wrong as well, but you are equally to blame because you knew they were in a relationship. And if you had any doubt or any question or any care concerned as you are now, you could have DM'd her because Instagram was out. So you knew how to find her. You knew her name. You probably know where she lived. Probably know where she hang out. Probably knew her store. Oh, you definitely knew her store because you showed up at her store. So I don't want to hear you sorry. I don't want to hear you apologize. I don't want to hear none of that. You are equally as to blame. And yes, because you are a woman and know what it's like to have a family, to have heartbreak, you were supposed to say, hold on one second. You cute. You fine. All right. Let me go make sure that this is clear ground for me to step on. And you didn't do that. You didn't do your due diligence. So I blame you as well. I would have been in the audience like, what are you talking about? Shut up. No, you sound stupid. You sound dumb. We don't want your apology. Go. And it, not even my situation, but I would have been yelling and screaming because that's, no, no. When I got the call that my husband wanted to leave New York and move to Atlanta, I said that I'm going to bring all my New Yorkness to Atlanta because it's the only way I know how to be. 
So I'm not really going to switch up too much. I'm going to stay pretty much who I am. I'm going to just make sure that I add a little bit of New York swag because it's embedded in me. It's just who I am. You know, I'm going to just keep it all the way 100 because that's just the type of stuff we do when we're from New York. You know, we stick to who we are. We don't really switch up. We don't change up too much. So I'm going to just come to Atlanta like, what up? What's good? I'm here. That's it. Like, it ain't, it ain't really much more that I'm going to do. I'm going to just be New York. If you like that video, subscribe to VH1's Love & Hip Hop YouTube channel for more.